Hello guys, I'm Sam from The Verdict and today we are going to look at the Fly Me OS 5 point beta version on the Meizu M2 Note. I have just flashed the ROM on it from the link that I have given in the description below. As you can see, it is the Chinese version and the international version is still not out. So you will actually find many of the Chinese app that you cannot uninstall until and unless your device is rooted and the problem with these are that these are Chinese and not only are they Chinese they can only be used in China so they are basically useless to you so until and unless you decide to root your cell phone they are just there so some of the major changes that you will actually find are the toggles you could move them around but you will see that the date and the time are written in a different way and one of the more important update is the presence of the settings button and once you do come into the settings option you will find that there are new arrangements like the stock android and not the one that was present in the flyme 4.5 os this is more like the stock android and there is not much of a learning curve that is needed if you are coming from an older android devices it will have the same options that you would find in the previous flyme with an addition of the personalized option where you have different option to have themes fonts and wallpaper that you can download from the store that Meizu is providing then you have another feature called the easy mode which will basically make it a very simpler uh, simpler device which you can actually keep uh, near your in your car or something where it will have big buttons and you can easily select and do basic things in the display we have the same options that we had earlier in the security you will see that if you are using the password you will still find that there are only two options rather than the only the pin option that was available in the previous fly me but we still don't have the pattern lock so that's one downside about it we still have the gesture modes in addition to that we have the smart touch option which we which we can activate from here or from the notification bar we can log into our primary account and that will just help us to download no we don't need the flying account to download the wallpapers or the themes but we do need it if you want to back up those things and if you do let's say reset your phone you and you want the themes back then you need the fly me os and as you can see the messages come in a different background like the unlike the previous one and you can answer to them from the notification bar itself the battery mode hasn't changed but you have more modes where you can add personalized modes the location services are the same and so are the apps option let's quickly go into the phone settings and show you that we are running flyme 5.6.3.15 beta which is the latest one for now coming back to the main home screen you will find that it does follow the same format of not having the notification so not having the app drawer but you will find that the recent apps options have changed and you can clear all of them off by clicking there it will automatically clear the things Apart from that, there are certain changes that you will find in the music menu as you will open up it will go into the it will become something of a sort of the music apps that are available in the 
play store where you can download and listen to different radios you can go back into locals and find whichever song that you want to play it still works like the old one as it will automatically adjust the color according to the album art going into the calls you will find that there is a slight change in this in the same thing but as you can see the Chinese is still written here which is something that you cannot get rid of hopefully the international version will come with more English support coming back to the apps that it already have you will find that it comes with a scanner where you can scan the barcode and business cards then we have another edition of toolbox where we will find some tool that more or less some people would use the calculator has now more options plus it has a black background compared to the white background that was present earlier in the other apps you will find that the same thing that happened with the music player has done has been done with the video player where you will find that there is a home page which will give you the links to the movies and all the other things that you can actually download again if you go into the local videos you will find the videos that you have already loaded in your cell phone the camera app has also taken a little overhaul and you will find that it is much more accessible the swiping option was a little tedious and that has been replaced by a very easy to reach option where you can where it is just next to the clicking button and you have all these options with the addition of GIF which was absent in the previous month the pictures taken from the camera sorry taken from the camera are decent and also as you can see that in the gallery app we have more options but the way to make this a wallpaper has increased a bit by the addition of these three features as you can add blur effects to your wallpaper and some pattern overlay and you can preview it even before having it set coming down to the gallery option you will find that the pictures are stacked a little more and you have a cloud option which obviously will need the fly me account you can have a picture preview like this of all the pictures in a specific Folder. the images are stacked into more little images compared to the one that was present in the earlier build coming down to into the clock the clock still has the same options with a with UI changes that will be visible to you the file manager has also changed a little in respect with the UI but it still has the same features that were present earlier coming back to the calendar the calendar is a basic app that you will find where you will find the holidays that you have according to whatever you have synced and we have the themes app in which you can download new themes and I'm sorry and use them on your devices in my you will find all the things that are downloaded but if you want them to store of course like I told you before you need the find me account that being said last but not the least you have the option to add widgets which can be added like this also you can arrange your icons into different page without having to shift them and drag them which is definitely a neat feature we can change the wallpaper from here itself 
but this does not change the wallpaper present on the lock screen for that you will have to go again and set it from the gallery and all well guys that is it for this video please let us know what you think about the build in the comment section below and if you have any question please type them below